Do you ever feel challenges in your life and you wish you could feel calm and in control again? I'm going to share some magic and strategies today, including a song that I wrote and I'm going to sing for you to help you reclaim the peace and sense of control in your life again, even under the biggest uh, the biggest types of challenges that you may feel. Ah, I see Eileen is with us. Hello, Eileen. It's always a joy to see you and to welcome you and to welcome everybody here. Again, I'm going to talk about what to do when you have challenges in your life and how to bring back and reclaim that peace, that serenity, that sense of control again. And I've spoken about this in group. Uh, I was diagnosed 14 years ago with breast cancer. And it was really important to me, even in a big challenge like that, to feel calm and peace in my life. And a lot of the techniques that I'm going to talk about tonight are things that I've used myself in my life. And I would love for you to be able to share them also. And I see Eileen is saying, hello, Dr. Ellen. Hello, Eileen. And hello to everybody joining us. I'm always so delighted to see people joining. Um, so tonight we're going to talk about how to address challenges in life and we all face challenges no matter where we are and what we're doing. Life includes those difficult rough times. We're going to talk about how to sail through them better, more easily with greater confidence and greater comfort. So again, we all face them. Life includes them. Sometimes they're general types of stress. Sometimes they're bigger and a higher level. But even in our general days, we may have some extra stress at work. Maybe we have a deadline or a special project or some kind of a change at work. Sometimes it may be at home. Maybe your child is going through a developmental milestone, something special, or getting them to sleep at night or an older child helping them handle independence or get their homework done or other issues. Again, there are so many types of issues that we handle every day at work and at home. And often it's the combination of issues, the big combination that really makes us feel pulled thin and really stressed. And it's because we're handling a lot. And I've heard Maria Shriver describe it as a lot. And I love everything Maria Shriver does, so watch her as well. But she, I've seen her write it as handling a lot. And the working women who come to me for help, the mothers I talk to, they all describe a lot that they're handling. So again, sometimes it could be the general issues and sometimes they're bigger, more significant issues like sickness or a health concern for you or someone in the family Maybe you're moving to a new town or taking a new job. Maybe there are financial issues or relationship changes, separation or divorce. So again, it could be general or it could be larger life-changing events. But in all cases, I want you to feel empowered that you can pull back what I call your calm, that you can bring your calm back and live with serenity and confidence that you can handle whatever it is that's coming your way. So why do these pressures seem so tough and so prominent? And how can we stay empowered? I'm going to talk about that, but I want to explain it a little bit. And I think our brain gives us a little hint about what's going on and what we can do. So there's an area in our brain called the amygdala. I've spoken about it a little bit before, but it's like a filter. It identifies the stress and worries and problems in our life and in our world. And it's a survival tool, so it's not a bad thing because we really need to be aware if there's a danger in our environment, so it's a good thing. The only problem is sometimes it becomes a chronic filter and it's really on overdrive. I like to think of it as sometimes it's like we're on a radio station or listening to sound and it's just yelling out stress, stress, stress. The amygdala has been called a magnet for stress. 
So what do we do when we have that stress mechanism that's going on? And the, the thing we really need to know about our brain is that there isn't a comparable area in the brain that yells out happy, 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 or that looks for joy and happiness in our world. So again, we have this part in our brain that looks for stress. We don't have a comparable part that looks for happiness and joy in our world. It's up to us to find it. So what does that tell us? And the first key that I wanna remind you and ask you to remember is that happiness is deliberate. It's a decision, it's intentional. Happiness doesn't come to us on autopilot like stress does because of our filter to keep us safe. There is no filter in our brain that says, let's connect happiness. We need to do that ourselves. And if your strategy is, well, I'm just gonna sit back and wait till I'm happy, that's not a great strategy because happiness doesn't come automatically. So I'm gonna suggest, and this is key number two, to build what I call a happiness habit. Now, what do I mean by that? Again, the amygdala fires stress. So let's create our own collection habit. And this is similar, it's not the same thing, but some people use what's called gratitude practice, where they wake up every morning and maybe list three things in their life that makes them happy. And that really is a collection habit. That is a happiness habit. But what I would like to suggest is you don't, is you don't just reserve that for the morning, but even during your day, even at times when you're really feeling stressed, that's when you really need your happiness habit. So try during the day, even when things are getting pressured and tense, to try to take a little, mo even if it's a momentary break and think, what's going well in my day today? What's good in life? What's making me happy? And again, if you're making a list of three things and you do it regularly, I suggest you don't use the same thing each time. So don't just say, my, number one, my kids, number two, my house, or whatever. Try to be more specific. So maybe something your child did specifically recently that made you happy, or something particularly about your house now. Again, so that you're really feeling current in your happiness list. Um, and, and again, do it regularly. Just like your amygdala fires the stress, you're gonna have this happiness habit to keep you in a happy mode. Does that make sense? I hope that's making sense, that we want to bring on autopilot our happiness. And you know what? If you know that tomorrow you're gonna to have to list three things that make you happy, you're gonna be thinking about happiness and looking around your world to see, hmm, what do I have that makes me happy? Again, you're creating a habit that's gonna fire, hopefully, as often or more than your amygdala. And the next key is to remind you about regular self-care routines. So we all need to build time in our lives when we can sit and relax and build that calmness. Even if it's briefly, even if you don't have a lot of time, even brief amounts of time can help. So what would you what what works for you? Meditation, music, sports, jogging, maybe even some deep breathing or stretching your arms or relax, just sit and relax your mind. And again, it's up to you. Um, but find some times and really schedule it. Don't let everything else be prioritized over your time, over your safety and calming time, your soothing time. Because we, again, we wanna build that ability to be calm so that when you need it, you know what it feels like and you can call on it. If you don't sit and do this and suddenly you need it, you may not feel it. It really is like a muscle that we need to build and keep strong. So, and mind, mindfulness is also a technique where you can sit and be in the moment. And I think it's a great technique because if you can sit in the moment and feel I'm calm in this moment, 
I am safe, I'm calm, I'm in control, that can really relax your mind, relax your body, relax your spirit. And I think that's helpful. And so in my song, which I'm going to do for you very shortly, I bring up the words, I am strong, I am strong, I am safe, I am calm. I am strong, I am strong, I'm prepared to carry on. And that's a sentiment that I want people to get used to feeling, get used to hearing, feeling, and knowing. Because if you can feel calm and in control in this moment, then you can go into the next moment feeling calm and safe and in control. But if you're feeling stressed and overwhelmed in this moment, then you're likely to go into the next moment feeling stressed and overwhelmed. But if we could just take a moment to settle ourselves and feel calm and feel safe and know that we're calm, it really can help us feel better in this moment and again, move ahead. So I want you to hear this song. Uh, many of you know that I am also a singer and a songwriter and I do have a YouTube channel with my music and I have this complete song on my YouTube channel. I'm going to do a brief version of it for you today, um, but you're welcome to find the complete version on the YouTube channel if you'd like. So again, this song is really to remind us to be calm in the movement and remind ourselves that we are safe, we are strong. I am strong, I am strong, I am safe, I am calm. I am strong, I am strong, I'm prepared to carry on. I am strong, I am strong, I am safe, I am calm. I am strong, I am strong, I'm prepared to carry on. While the world can be unsure, unpredictable in some days, here and now I will remember, I am courageous, I am brave. Cause I am strong, I am strong, I am safe, I am calm. I am strong, I am strong, I'm prepared to carry on. I am strong, I am strong, I am safe, I am calm. I am strong, I am strong, I'm prepared to carry on. So again, this is a brief version. If this song feels good to you, feel free to keep this and replay it for yourself. Feel free to share it with your children also. I think it's a great message for kids. So you're welcome to share this song with your kids and in classrooms and teachers. Feel free to share this video with other people if you feel it may help them. Uh, if you would like a copy of the words of the song, uh, let me know. Uh, I'm going to try to put a link to my calendar so you can make a phone call with me. I'm happy to talk to you and share the song with you and talk about sharing it with your classrooms or kids if you'd like. Because again, I think it would be great for all of us to have a technique and a tool to feel strong in this moment, no matter what's going on. And as I mentioned to you, I had breast cancer 14 years ago, I was diagnosed. And I knew that I needed to feel strong and healthy and hale and not let that cancer overwhelm me. And that's about when I started writing this so song and needing strength in my life. So again, no matter what stressor you have in your life and struggle, you can sit for a moment and feel calm and safe. I am strong, I am strong, I am safe, I am calm, I am prepared to carry on. So I'm happy to share that with you today. I'm also happy to share 
that I wrote for the description of the session today that unlike usually, I'm not wearing a necklace today. And you can see why. Because a friend of mine who knows I'm obsessed with bling, with, with shiny things, bought this for me. And I thought, you know what? I don't have to wear a necklace with this. But next week, I don't know, the game may be back on. I might be back on with my necklaces next week. I don't know yet. Tune in and we'll see if I'm back on with necklaces. That I'm not sure yet. But what I do know is that I will be here for you to share more techniques about feeling strong, about feeling calm, and about feeling empowered. So thank you for joining me today. Please let me know in the comments if you like the song, if you feel it would be helpful, if you want to share it with your kids. Uh, if you're watching this on replay, please share in the comments as well. And feel free to schedule with me uh, if you'd like to talk more about the song or our topic or anything else. So again, thank you all for joining me. I will see you here next week again and in the group during the week. Stay strong and stay empowered.